La di da di da. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. So apparently, according to the technology, Jimmy, we are live on all platforms. But now I'm going to double check that. Just, just, just to make sure that the technology is not um, fooling us around. It sometimes does, but uh, where are we? Shine cast with Jimmy Heaven. There we go. And if, oh yes, it's definitely live on Facebook. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh goodness me, what happened there? We were live on Facebook. We're gonna change the internet connection like that. Oh look at that. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, it, it looks like it's working, Jimmy. Is it working for you? I'm doing yeah. good. There you go. You're doing good, yeah. So Facebook's cool, good, cool, whatever. And apparently, if I go to uh, YouTube, 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 press the magic the button there. Technology. There we go. The technology's work. Wow, yeah. I'm doing good. You're doing good. Good, yeah. We good on we good on there as well. Wow, this could be a first, Jimmy. Um, so, oh, hang on, what's going on? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. So explain to me again. Oh, just the fact that all the technology is working. Um, oh, you right. know, without me having to twiddle and fiddle with something, which we sometimes have to, because you know, you know how these things go. Uh, but that's why we're here, us uh, streaming professionals, because uh, things do go wrong sometimes. People love it when it goes wrong. Don't you, people? You love it when it goes wrong. That's why you watch half the time, to, to just wait until we fluff up. And, and, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm about uh, to open my bottle here. It's oh, very yeah, but, rare oh, that I get a on. screw on top. It, it looks very um, exciting, that one, judging by the, the, the cork cover. Balance. It's actually it was it's a it's a Cabernet I think it's a Cabernet Merlot was it blend, and it's South African and I've I've never had really? a bad South African wine. Oh my goodness! I bet I bet it keeps apart from the beers, doesn't it? It's definitely a separatist uh, tipple that one. Goodness! Did I say that? Well, we're it's in a screw top. It's very rarely I I. I I didn't even know it was going to be a screw top, but I just knew it was a South African wine, and it, I, yeah. I, I don't find them very often. So when I see a South African wine, I'm going to snag it because I've never had a bad South African wine. Jimmy's on form today, everyone. As we can see, Balance. why wouldn't he be? Uh, right, we'll be we'll be starting this in approximately 111 Dude. seconds, Jimmy. Mm. Cheers to you. That looks like a nice, decent red. It's a decent glass too. I think this is. A, I got a. Was it a Czech? Is it maybe it's a Bohemian uh, crystal? Mm. You're asking me. I, I need. I need. Uh, I should have brought some <laughs> cheese. Oh, someone says it's working. Uh, hi guys. Hi girls out there as well. That's good. We've got comments coming in already. Goodness me, they don't even give us a chance to actually start. How about it? They're so keen eager and ready to uh play with us here don't forget people you can join us we want you to join us you're supposed to join us that's the whole point of not just listening to traditional radio and television the, where they just talk at you no and to you but uh, no no this is all about um joining in and telling us what's going on there right um actually i've just remembered something from last week's show saying that people should join us Totally had forgotten until right now. Jimmy, uh, let's crank up the, the technology. Uh, uh, that's Yeah, look, that's good. It's good. And what have we got behind I, you I get, there? I get, I get this is a, a Japanese festival in a mm -hmm. place called Okazaki, which is a little bit It's close to where I am in the same prefecture up against the uh, ocean. And, and they have this like it's, it's kind of like if you've ever seen the Ark of the Covenant. It kind of looks like an Ark. It's a festival arc and they this is during the summer so obviously it's not th th now it and they carry the this uh, thing into the ocean okay no i i do recall images of something along those lines i don't know if they also do that sort of thing on the indian subcontinent but if not then that's where i've sort of got the uh, vision from so well, this, this, they usually they don't put in the ocean but this is a uh, usually towns that are close to the sea they take these these festival arcs, I guess, I, I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to call it. It's like a shrine. It's like, kind of, no, it's not a shrine. What is it? No, it's that's called me. That's me. You're talking about me? Yeah, it's oh, called it's a shrine. Sorry. Shrine, sorry. shrine. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know the internet connection is much improved today. But it's called an omikoshi. It's called an omikoshi. 
And what they do is they take they take it around usually to the town. They run it around town and they end up in the shrine. But this one is a particular town. They do it in the ocean. Mm -hmm. So let me see what Omikoshi. You look into that because we're going to start. I did say 110 seconds, uh, 11 seconds rather, probably about to. Uh, well, too long ago. We're going to have to get this underway. I'm just double checking one thing, which is, yeah, that's all right. Sacred, that's right. It's a sacred religious. Boom, boom. There we go. Palankin. Well Shinto followers believe that it serves as a building with pillars, walls, roof, veranda, and railing. Right. Can we do this? I, I'm ready. I, I, I don't know what's taking so long. Uh, Periscope. Uh, it's um, we, listen. We're going to carry on. Whatever's going on, we're carrying on right now. But Periscope, it, it, it does. It, it it always has a tantrum. Anyhow, uh, let's get on with this, Jimmy. And you can let's tell us more about the picture in just a moment. We will press the magic button, which tells us that we're underway any second um, now. <laughs> And there it was, the title sequence, a little bit of silence, and here I am. Welcome to Shinecast, everyone. I am Martin Shine. That's why it says so on the screen, somewhere around about there. That's right. Um, and it's a Friday. I don't know where this week's gone. I've been so busy. It's been one of those weeks where I have been so busy, and it's been a very productive week as well, uh, meaning that I just haven't had time to sort of count the minutes, hours, Days. And before you know it, here we are again, uh, speaking to the one and only man in Japan that we need to be speaking with right now. Here he is. At, uh, Hello. Uh, late at night, I was going to say, Jimmy Heaven. Hello good to Good evening, you. good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Wherever you are indeed on the planet or indeed for an, on another planet. And we want to hear from you definitely if you're from another especially, planet. Especially, especially. Yeah, 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 if you want to join us, please do. Uh, you know how to, those that are regulars, those that aren't. You also know how to now because it's on the screen there. Uh, just head over to any browser and type in uh, shinecast.live forward slash join. And um, before long, the whole world will be hearing and seeing you. Um, so Jimmy, uh, how's your time been uh, the last seven days? What's been going on there in Japan? Well, Tomorrow's my birthday, or today. Well, no, tomorrow, tomorrow. That's right. In a few minutes, it's going to be my birthday, actually. So, yeah. I thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah. Jimmy Heaven's birthday, 21 a game. So, um, yeah. is it 48? 48, 48. 48. 48. How old are you? A little bit older than that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two years older than you, Jimmy. You should know that. Uh, Oh, no, I, no, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're, you're going to be or you're... I'm a fossil. Are... I'm a fossil and I'm about to be crowned. Yeah, a fossil. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very soon. Oh, just a big 5-0. You, you, you have become yeah, already or you are going to be? Yeah, I'm going to have to speak to Dano and get him to book me. Yeah, that's what Jackie Lord used to say, wasn't it, on that TV show? When is your birthday? I, I don't even know your birthday. I should I know. know. What, what is your, when is your birthday? A couple of months' time. This year, yes, yes, a couple of months' time. This year before New Year's Eve, how about that'll be here before we know it? So, the what time, you, you, you're a Christmas baby or what? Pretty much, yeah, born in a manger, not but close, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, it's crazy time of year. Are, are, you, wait, wait a second. are you shying away from telling me your birthday? Oh, what the exact date. Mine's October 10th, Jimmy, day after Jimmy, John Lennon. I know, I know. Jimmy, Jimmy, what time do we usually it, what time do we try to catch up? What time do we try to catch up here on Shinecast? What, this specific, is where we should. Yeah. No, no, the specific time that we try to make it by, you and I. Oh, so you was November 11th? Don't tell right. me it's November. No, no, it's not. If it was November, that'd be crazy. There's not that's many 11s, but certainly in, in December. December 12th? No, no, no. 
I don't know where 12 came from. We were, got, we were on the right track, and now you've just deviated. No, no, I, I, I thought you liked the double numbers. 11, That's why. 12. But, of course, it could be 12. 11. Funny enough, a friend... It depends uh, on where you are in the world. It does. Uh, but of course, if you're in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, then it's correct. It's day, month, year when you write the date out, yeah? But as someone um, made a slip up the other day, it's, it's perfectly understandable because, of course, North America... When they write the date, as you know, it's month, day, year. It's and I get that. You see, if, you don't, if you don't announce the date in full, you know, you just forever question, why is it the month first? Well, because over here we, we say, you know, it's the 1st of January. The 9th of, well, yeah, no, it's, it's the 10th of October. Right. It's the something of, whereas obviously uh, over there on the North America, I'm accepting birthday donations. Just to let everybody know. Right, right. No, no, I, I'm, I'm assuming you've got plenty at the moment. Uh, but you know what? Before we go any further, I think we might have someone uh, who's going to wish you a, a happy birthday. Uh, we might even have song. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. But you know what? There's someone on a completely different time zone uh, from you, and uh, not. I, I'm in the middle because we are heading over to North America ski right now, and we are speaking to the one and only Mr. There he is, Elliot Mann. Welcome to Shinecast. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Wow. You're in your that morning, room. morning there. Good morning there. Is that what it is? Morning? It is. Well, it's late morning, 10.53 technically. Happy no, birthday, we're, we're, happy birthday we're, to you. Thank you very much. I was born. Well, actually, we don't. Was it a? Uh, actually, it's if it was. If I'm going to be exact, since I was born in like uh, Missouri. Oh wow! My, yeah, so my my birthday is going to be a little bit later, but I'm living in Japan now, so the tenth is coming up in about seven minutes. It's yeah. very interesting. What What's your story that you were born in in Missouri and you wound up living in Japan? Well, my mother's Japanese. My father's American. I was born. Uh, I was born. Uh, and I'm on a military base, uh, oh, wow. Fort Leonard Wood, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, biggest, I think it's the biggest land military base in the United States. So, and when I, I well, I'm going to make it a short story, but, um, at six years old, my parents separated. My mother brought me back, brought me to Japan. So I was living with my, uh, my grandmother for about a year and a half. Then I lived in Tokyo and then my, my mother remarried to a German. Uh, uh, captain, a uh, cargo shipping company. And so because of work, we lived in New Jersey after that, then in Germany, then in Denmark. And I went, I finished my school in Denmark. And at about 23, when I was 23, I moved to Los Angeles. I was in Los Angeles uh, close to 20 years. And I've been in Japan now for about seven years. So that's the... And, and why, why did you move to Japan? Well, um... I was in Los Angeles, and I took uh, a year and a half break, and I was back in Europe. I was in Bulgaria. I was in Poland. I was in Denmark. I came back to the United States. I was, came back to L.A. I needed a job. I, I just happened to work in a Japanese noodle restaurant for about two years. My plan was to move to Hawaii. When I was trying to move to Hawaii, they asked me to come to Japan on a job oh, offer. So now I'm here. Quite a, quite a story, Jimmy. Yeah, so I'm, wow. I'm all over. Wow, you've been place. you've been around by accident. Life is by accident. It's the best way to live it. I agree. I think life and is by accident. It you should say, be. It's, it's funny you should say that, Jimmy. Uh, I mean, life is by accident. But would you not suggest that part of our role is to kind of control that accidentalism? Okay. You know, I wish I wish you know, I could to try and keep it on track. As I get it, this is a, a oh yeah, let's have a look Cabernet at that. Cabernet yeah, Merlot, Cabernet Merlot blend. It's yes. a South African wine, so I've never gone wrong with South African wine. So when I saw this, oh, I bought it, and I usually never buy a screw top, but by the way, South African, so I went for it. Elliot said earlier on before he joined the conversation that uh, uh, look, it, it makes him feel like a dinosaur when we were talking about birthdays and ages and all and things like that. Uh, but also, uh, you were, uh, happy birthday, said Brenda. And uh, uh, I think Thank you. Kind of a chuckle there to what Elliot was saying earlier on. And Brenda, I didn't get to ask, where is Elliot? Where, 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 where oh, is he? Where is he located? Well, well, on planet Earth, we know that, don't we? Yes, yes. I'm in. I'm in a state not too far from Missouri in Wisconsin. Okay, the cheese state. Right. 
It's a cheese. Well, I mean, is it, is it cheese? <laughs> really? But Japanese yeah. people don't eat too much cheese, do they? Yeah, well, they, they're, they're starting to, but the che cheese is too mild. I, I like strong French, Italian, Steve. German cheese. Yeah, real cheese. Really? But, oh, I yeah. Love American it. cheese is pretty bland, too. It's good, though. It's good, but not as good as the European cheese, obviously. Um, right. Yeah. Hey, hey, do you know what? Matthew Calkins just joined us. He said hi. Now, Matthew, Matthew, sorry, Elliot. I was just going to say, Matthew's been on and off with us for a while, certainly following uh, Martin Shine across social let's talk media. About, let's talk about Wisconsin for a second. Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to know in a moment, Matthew, well, just while we're talking, I'd like Matthew to tell us what sort of cheese is popular where he is uh, there in where Australia. Australia. He'll tell us, but carry on. Wisconsin. Well, I'm, I, yeah. Wisconsin is like the capital of like serial killers, is it not? <laughs> or, or crazy Jeffrey people? Dahmer. What, you mean they well, murder the people? Think, but it, that, it, no, no. I would say oh, more, more <laughs> Chicago, New York, L.A. Wait, 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 wait. But the famous ones. Okay, yeah, there might be serial killers in other states, but the big boys are from Wisconsin. I don't know about that. I know Jeffrey <laughs> oh, Dahmer. He okay, was, let's a uh, crazy person. A Wisconsin a research, yeah. Yeah, live research. You know, you've yeah. heard about Jeffrey Dahmer, haven't you? Of course we know we know we know we know Everybody's yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer. Him. Yeah, he's it's from Wisconsin. Ed, Ed, Ed Gein Ed Gein is from Wisconsin. Do you know, right, Elliot, for those that aren't aware, please. What? I'm sorry. Could you elaborate on the Jeffrey and what he's all about for those that don't know that are watching from around the Globe. Well, he was a nutcase that <laughs> uh, abducted people and uh, evidently, you know, went berserk on these people. It's just horrible. He wound up wound up killing and 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 eating them. Oh, really? He was a, a cannibal. Uh, can, can, cannibalized them, and uh, yeah. Well, the way things are going at the moment uh, here in London, we haven't even mentioned the coronavirus pandemic situation. How? bad it's getting again uh, we're going to have lockdown soon so yeah i think people will yeah, be biting eat. their nails and uh, eating the, one another alive the, the, the british maybe. don't have crazies like okay but how about ed, ed jean ed jean i've heard the name i don't know his story jimmy well slayer slayer made a song about him i think they oh. used him as an example was it uh in the, the was it um what was it called sansa lambs the guy was like cut people up and then they put their body parts or hung his body parts around and made jewelry out of their body parts? Yeah, that was I it, don't know. It? I think Wisconsin is getting a bad rap about serial killers. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's it's just permeating out there because people say Wisconsin. The name oh, really? is that implies what it is? that there are convicts and sinners. Really? Is that what they're saying? Well, I, I always thought it was, it was maybe it's an astrological point. An, astro, an astrological stress point. I don't know about uh, geography affecting people's uh, wanting to be able to be a serial killer, but it's possible. Well, what else is there? There's also, was it a uh, beer? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, not affecting the silicers. I'm talking about Wisconsin being yeah, famous well, for beer. The early, the early settlers in Wisconsin were Germans. Germans, and exactly. They're, they're, of course, you know, beer pretty much, if you want to look at the history of beer, is very instrumental in colonizing uh, the world really when you look at it but wisconsin in general was very uh her heritagely german and yeah, they right. want they wanted beer so the early early people in milwaukee uh decided this would be a good place to make breweries mm -hmm. But interesting enough, looking at the way things are now, the big breweries aren't even located in Wisconsin anymore. But they were originally. But back, back in, originally, the big breweries originated here. But musical and they instruments, had some instruments too. They've got well, quite a lot uh, going on in Wisconsin, though, Elliot, haven't they? I mean, don't put uh, it in the breweries. Uh, what, about, what, what about Happy Days, by the way? Can I just throw that in as a left hook? Yeah, they basically movie off of Happy Days. 
But Excuse me? Uh, no, the TV show, Happy Days. Monday, Tuesday, Happy Days. Yeah, Henry Winkler. A lot of people won't remember that, but remember it was a, a, a TV show from the 1970s. But where was it set? Because we're talking all things Wisconsin. In Milwaukee. Right. That's Just right. Down the street from where you are, pretty much, Milwaukee, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember the guy that invented the uh, uh, the Gip, was it the Gibson guitar, Les Paul? Oh yeah, he was Les Paul. he was from Wisconsin, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, something else. Yeah, I was a thinking. lot of people. A lot of people. Gene Wilder. Yeah, the actor. Gene Wilder is really. I was just watching something about him on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, he was yeah. a funny guy. So yeah, well there you go. Oh, so uh, Wisconsin is not just full of serial killers. Do we have I'm any famous tennis it. players from Wisconsin? Because Matthew says that he's watching the French Open tennis at the moment, and he's just giving us an update, which is nice to know that uh, Nadal is playing right now and winning. I, I heard that on the news the other day, actually, a couple of days ago. Uh, something about Nadal um, doing quite well with that. Yeah. Golda Meir, the Prime Minister of Israel. Yeah. And and here's one for you, Oprah Winfield, Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey. Okay. Yes. Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, yeah. Now she's always she's around that part of the world. Yeah, that that's hence that's one of the reasons why she's around there, isn't she? Because uh, Harpo Studios uh, is based in Chicago, I believe, in that area. Certainly, she used to produce and have produced her TV shows in in the Midwest. Because well, there you are. Uh, yeah, she's, she's obviously got, associated with the area. I think her mom lives. Or used to live just south of Milwaukee. There's there's actually a lot of people that have come out of it's a, uh, it's a, Wisconsin. Yeah, is it how's it doing there weather wise at the moment? And as we can see on the screen there, Brenda says that her it's a her, beautiful, her, a beautiful, uh, beautiful day. I don't know if I can turn my phone around. You can get it's, it. It's oh, a, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah we, 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 look at that. Look at that out there. Did you see? Nice. Uh, it's certainly, it was like that maybe about two, three weeks ago here. But that that does look good, doesn't that look good there? Uh, that 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 yeah. That is good. It's impressive. I think I'd rather be there than I'm looking out the window here. I can't flip my camera around, uh, but you're not missing anything. It's just very um, gray out, dull out at the moment here uh, in, uh, yeah. in in this part of the world. And and it's almost it was let almost me, like I'm on soon earlier. But let me ask. Can I ask Jimmy a question about his website? Yeah, of course you can, Ellie. Yeah. Did Did you get your website developed? No, it's just it's just linked to my Facebook page at the moment. I'm lazy. And I need. I'm gonna. I'm getting with it. Uh, somebody else to make it. Oh really? Good. Yeah, I'm getting hey, Martin to make it. We were talking about this uh, last week, I think, briefly, if not the week before, Jimmy, on our chats. They happen at the moment once a week on a Friday, um, and uh, yeah, because they can, and that's the way things are. But in the future, oh, things will definitely have to change because because of schedules. They change, obviously, certainly at the moment, everything's changeable in the world. But yeah, we were talking about the fact that, um, and it was very important, everyone needs a web presence now, not just on social media, but why not have your own name, whatever it is, even if it's the Wisconsin boy, yeah, dot com, right? You, you, you buy that domain name uh, and you rent it. You rent it for at least minimum a year, maximum 10 years, and you can renew at any time. And you rent a domain name, but if you haven't got the funds or the know-how, to build a website right now when you buy and purchase the domain name that you reserve before anyone else does. That's why you want to obtain the ideal name for yourself now because there's only one. And once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, so you get your name.com or your business name.com. And while you're thinking about a web page, developing a website, then you can have it. It's like a, a free toll free telephone number, which they have in the United States. Like Martin. Right? Uh, you know, the actual toll free number doesn't exist. The line doesn't exist. It gets forwarded and routed, routed to uh, an existing line. It could be a cell phone, mobile phone, or another landline. And that's the same as your web name, domain name. So if you have the, the, the name, uh, jimmyheaven.com, which Jimmy, you have, then you can forward that at the moment anywhere not just to your website so at the moment it goes to your facebook page i believe is that right yep yeah and there you are so, so now at least you can breathe you know it costs you around about 10 15 us dollars a year 
for that. It's probably cheaper. I think it was cheaper. I yeah. can't remember. Oh, and the other thing as well, it gives you immediately is a, a, a decent email address as well for people to write to. You know, mail at jimmyheaven.com or info at jimmyheaven.com. Or that, jimmy at jimmyheaven.com. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. J-I-M-M-I-E. Oh, you mustn't forget that. You mustn't forget it. No, yeah, absolutely. The last name is British. First name is? Well, it's not actually, it's not, it's like, what is it? It's. I think it's a girl spelling of a James, like Jimmy. The girl, no, girl it's spelling. Jimmy Heaven's spelling, isn't it, Jimmy? Come on. Well, I, I love my name, but I'm saying Jimmy, J-I-M-M-I. -M -M -I. You know, it's usually J-I-M-M-Y, short for James. But my I, name is actually Jimmy, not James. That's what's on your birth certificate, on your, on your ID. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Your my mother, my father's name was James, but uh, right. I'm Jimmy. There you go. So you'd be Jimmy Heaven the second. No, no, I'm Jimmy Heaven because my father's name was James. I, oh. My name is Jimmy. Yeah, that makes. Yeah, yeah I, I got that. I am. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so Elliot, um, Jimmy is in Japan. It's quite away from where you are at the moment. He's eight hours ahead of uh, London, England, where I am, and uh, that means that he's uh, fourteen hours ahead of you. Uh, Elliot, because I nearly, I nearly said 13, but you're on the central standard time zone in um, that part of the world, which means that from London, England, you're six hours behind, whereas the East Coast is only four hour, uh, five hours behind, uh, which is where um, uh, one of our viewers, I think Brenda, is watching right now. And yeah, so, you know, Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm just looking at you. It's already happy birthday, Jimmy. Uh, thank you. What do you think, Elliot? Uh, I have a question about Happy Japan. Birthday to you, Jimmy. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, question about Japan. Yes. If if I or other people in America wanted to be able to purchase electronic equipment from Japan, is it sensible to be able to purchase from Japan? Are there places in Japan where you can buy electronics for less money? Okay. Well, you're talking about access online what are, what are you what electronics are you looking for what are you looking for exactly camera cameras canon okay and they are not available in america they are available in america the question is it would it be less expensive to buy it i don't think so in japan i don't think so because you got to remember all these can like all these it's very it's like japan isn't it, there's not much made in japan anymore it's like the same thing as the weakening made in america the usa thing too so you're you know you're getting a product that is maybe a japanese company but it's shipped from somewhere else mm -hmm. and there you know there it's like you know within english here's a so i don't think it's going to be any cheaper and depending on what you're talking about modern cameras which is our electronic or digital uh they have a computer in it so there's you got to make sure that the company that's making the computer uh, the camera now, if you want the Japanese version, that you have to make sure that it's got the the programming in English too. Yeah, because some companies, like I think Sony, probably doesn't have a, a the Sony Japan probably doesn't have English or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I, typically, the Japanese versions are better quality. I'm the, not the, certain not, about that anymore. I'm not, not anymore. It's, not it's not that it's not it's not like that anymore it's not like that anymore. sure if you if you, look okay right now like i'm really into like amplifiers i'm getting back into records and lps so i have i actually i have a marantz right now but i also have a sansui and i'm looking for like old japanese amplifiers so yeah if you're talking about old equipment sure if you're talking about a fender guitar if you can get an old american one sure maybe there's a, a difference in quality and what they're doing now but uh in general, it depends on what you're buying, what you're buying, what you're looking for. Where where in Japan do you live? I live in Nagoya. Okay. Yeah, so it depends on what you're – if you're um, – there's just too much stuff that is made in Indonesia, made in China, made in Korea, made in Taiwan now. You know, it's not it's not like, you know, we're in the 80s where you're, you're getting made in Japan stuff, you know. So a camera, I don't know. What, what you're looking for, like a Canon? I like Canon. Are you looking I, for a new Canon? Are you looking for or was it an old Canon? What are you looking for? Used? I'm, what looking, are you looking, for, for? I'm looking for a brand new Canon camera. Okay, well uh, let, let's. They've come out with the new EOS R6, 
But I wonder, okay. Elliot, does it have to be new? Does it? Because I tell you right now that the, the, the market is flooded out there when it comes yeah. to previously yeah. operated, yeah. Absolutely. Used okay, secondhand. But, but mm. now that we're doing we're doing the Corona time, so shipping is a bitch right now. Like you, you want to get something, it takes a little bit longer. So I, look here. This is what this is what I hear. This is what I'm going to do, right? You what are you taking? You're talking about the Canon EOS. The EOS what? What is it called? R R six. R6. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to share my um, screen. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share my Amazon screen. This is too techy, this this show. There you go. Don't forget, everyone, if you want to join in as well and join in with Elliot, with myself, with Jimmy, you can do that. That's what you got to do there. Head over to shinecast.live forward slash join. Any take browser, a look. And uh, yeah, you can join us. What we do, you, you want to share your screen there, Jimmy. Can we do that? I think we can. Jimmy, uh, I'm, an, I'm an Amazon ooh. reseller. So if you have something over there that you can hook me up with, I'll share you in on the profits. Woo! Yeah. Well, the, okay. So the, you're talking <laughs> right. about it's gonna it's not gonna be electronics. It's gonna be something like well, maybe Japanese antiques or something like that. Well, but yeah, that's actually that's not time. Amazon. That would be eBay. What have you found there on your screen, Jimmy? Well, I I don't know what I'm looking for. Here we go. I put I put EOS uh, R6 uh, an R6 Canon, and this is what I'm getting. So. EOS right. M6. You see that, Elliot? Yeah, I'm. I'm. You tell uh, me what I'm looking for. You tell me what I'm I, looking for. I believe it's the R6. Isn't it the R6? Well, I'm putting. I put the R. I put R6 oh. in it, but this is what I'm getting. What? So I, I'm not getting an R6. I'm getting an RP. Uh, RP. Right. EOS. Oh, here. R body. Uh, M6. I'm getting. Right. R series lens. Okay, let so me take a look. So you're looking on Amazon for Canon. Well, let's. Yeah, why not? The, Amazon's got everything. Okay, let's see. Um, EOS R6. So because you know that that the R6. Excuse the me. R6 maybe it maybe may was it uh, the model that the model number that they're selling in uh, the U.S. and maybe not the same model number in Japan for all I know. Here it goes. So, so let me give you a, for instance, there's a company called DGI. Okay. And they yeah, we know them. Drones, yeah. and they sell uh, stabilizers. They're, 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 they have a store in Japan. Okay. But I'm wondering, maybe they have like an outlet store in Japan. That kind okay. of thing. Or like a manufacturer that is housed based right. in Japan. The corporate offices are in Japan. Right, so it's kind of more di direct, direct to the user. Store in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is what I'm saying. You're talking about e the EOS R6 is about, it's about, it's about thir three grand. Which currency, Jimmy, for those that have just joined us? I'm, I'm talking about American dollars. Uh, right. uh, is that what's about on your screen at the moment? That's right. right. All right, let's see. So it's oh, going to yeah. be more money in Japanese yen. That that's that, that's the thing. You know, America is the America has got buying uh, it's got a lot of what's it um buying power because of the quantity that America can buy at. You it's, know, so that's a big that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Uh hey, you know what? I, I, I'm, There's I'm got to be some way to make money here. Some way to make money. Is that what you're trying two, to really it right two, now? Is 2,886 2, bucks. We're right. international. Hey. Hey, I tell you what. If we, Listen, listen. They say that, that it's, it's you know, numbers, power in numbers, you know, synergy, that sort of thing. And, and you know something. Before our very eyes, look. Look at that. <laughs> Someone else. Hello, Brenda. Yeah, read on the screen. Maybe maybe Brenda has something to add there when it comes to. Oh, look, she's out. She's out there. Looks like on the decking or I'm something. Outside, on the you guys. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Hello. Guys. Hi, Elliot. Hi. Good nice to see you. Cheers. It's, it's definitely a virtual party. Cheers. Happy birthday. Hi, Brenda. Elliot, listen, she, Brenda's only down the street to you compared to where compared to where Jimmy and I am. So just to clarify it to, to other viewers, Brenda, you are in Ohio, right? Ohio, correct. And that time zone we were talking about is kind of the edge of the eastern time zone, right? Right. We are. So you're an hour ahead of Elliot. It's 1116 here now. It is, yeah, which means that you're yes, yes. So you're in, so that means that we've got Jimmy over there in Japan, who's eight hours ahead of myself 
in England. And then we have you and Elliot, both in the United States of Meriski there. But, but of course, you're both on different time zones in the same country. That, right. That's kind of crazy sometimes, isn't it? What, what, uh, Wisconsin, what is as uh, an hour behind, right, Elliot? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, is that that's right, Elliot? Yeah, okay. and we're one hour behind from Ohio. Just checking his watch there. But the so thing is, are you in Eastern Standard Time, Brenda? Yes, yes, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, so uh, yeah, because we're in Central Standard Time. Okay, I was also just saying, I lived in Milwaukee for two years. Wow. What did you do in Milwaukee? Why were you oh, in oh, Milwaukee? She, say, she commented just a little while ago that she. Why would anybody want to be in Milwaukee? <laughs> oh, no, she Milwaukee went to the Brewer beautiful. Stadium. Is that right? Is that what you were talking about there? You said. Right. Yeah. I saw my first concert at the Brewer Stadium. The um, it was Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. And Dave is that what you're talking to earlier? You remember Bob Seger? Of course. <laughs> right. That's, that's when we still use lighters. Okay. Yeah, lighters. Yeah, yeah, before the uh, LED technology got so good and smartphones, cell phones, mobile phones came along. Absolutely. Oh, well, it looks like Elliot, I saw, I saw you having a little chit chat there. Are you, did, you, did I get the impression that you might be leaving our broadcast shortly? Yes, we're going to be going up to Sheboygan for the day. It's a beautiful day today. We want to go and see the, the changing colors. Uh huh. They're beautiful, so gonna, beautiful in Wisconsin. It, uh, well, take take advantage of it before the snow gets there. I think it's going to be a cold winter. It certainly is uh, pretty chilly here in uh, London at the moment, in the rest of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So, yeah. Well, look, thank you very much for joining us, Elliot. Bye, Elliot. Enjoy your day. Bye. It's nice Elliot. seeing everyone. Everyone have a cheers. Uh, Bye. A safe day and, and stay safe. Stay healthy. Absolutely, you. yourself too, as well. Particularly in these crazy times, and uh, say hi to Didi from me as well. Don't forget, because uh, I bet Didi's been Didi. seeing. Oh, yeah, Didi, yeah, right. dog Didi, everyone. But thank you very much to Elliot Man there uh, in the uh, state of Wisconsin, there in the United States of America. Yeah. Anyhow, um, back, back back to all things um, Japan and uh, Ohio in that uh, North American. Uh, continent. Um, Brenda, um, so, so, so tell us, um, you know, you, you used to live in Wisconsin. How long you say that was for? Two years. Two years. And then did you move straight away to Ohio after that? Yeah, I was just in Wisconsin for, for school. I went right. there for a couple years. Right. And and then, where, where are you from? You are from Ohio? You are from Ohio? I was born and raised in Ohio. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm a farm girl. My dad, my dad was a farmer. Okay. So, what um, what kind of farm? What kind of what what what, what are you farming? Oh, everything. Um, we had cattle. We had uh, uh, crops, corn, soybeans, wheat. Um, and my family still does that. But okay. We have a lot of uh, uh, pigs. You know. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, cattle meaning was it beef? Yes. Okay, and beef pigs, cattle. and then pigs, of course, bacon. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, I, eventually, I, I, everything gets butchered. So. Okay. Uh, so you you said was it soy? What did you, else did you say? Soy. Soybeans. Okay. And wheat. Wheat. And corn. Corn. Uh, and we sometimes had pumpkin fields. Okay, pumpkin for so, Halloween. That's about it. Pumpkin pie. Okay, well, I, can I ask you a, a serious question, uh, maybe a very controversial question? Sure. Uh, you know, right now, um, it, it, it's actually, it's more, was it, it's common now to know this knowledge, but maybe it's so common that people don't talk about it anymore, uh, the GMO situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, because you're talking about, you, did, you mentioned uh, soy, which right. is a, a big, was it a GMO crop? I'm wondering what was it? What is your views? What is what is your like family? Was it a farm? What 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 is what's the situation with that kind of thing? Is it insider? Well, you have to understand this. This this is their livelihood. So yeah, I don't think that was a big issue or ever will be. Um, the supply and demand is what they take care of, and um, other than the GM the GMO. Yeah, um, there was no big issue with that. So, so, th so they 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 are planting and and was it a growing GMO? A growing or, GMO. 
GMO, 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 like let's say GMO, gen genetically modified soy or not, you know, or not? Mm -hmm. No. No. They don't like, grow? Oh, no. Oh, great. So, okay. So it's all, it's all, you know, plant-based, natural. Organic. Organic. Natural. Exactly. Okay, great. Yeah. So I didn't know. It Carry on, Jimmy. No, 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 no. Go ahead. What, what do you say, want to say? It's a shame that Elliot's departed now. Hopefully you'll catch up on the replay on this broadcast oh, because right. Elliot oh, is a, a vegan. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I know that because for those, everyone's thinking he never mentioned that. Well, he's uh, he's been with us a long time. He's a good friend of mine, and okay. he's been for our broadcasts uh, for many weeks, months, years. And uh, he makes it very clear that he is a vegan. He loves okay. that uh, oh. lifestyle. Uh, let's uh, for one of better words. I'm and you know, vegan. I've started. <laughs> what's that, Brenda? I'm definitely not vegan. No, no, no. I, I, I don't I'm eating I'm cattle too. <laughs> Yeah, but lucky just down the street from you there, Jimmy. What is South Korea? What is it? They eat, they eat pooches, right? Dogs. No. Yeah, but I'm not eating. I'm not eating that. Well, I, you know what? Here's the deal with the 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 dog situation. I don't agree with it, but I don't know if you can sit there and say that another culture is bad for it. I don't. I know China is like stealing dogs, and I think it's wrong. But you know what? How about what? How about cows? I mean, what is your situation with cows? I mean, if you've been so close to the farm with cows and pigs, do they not have personalities what, what 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 is the the case there is there any do you have any attachment to was it the animals or do you think it's just a completely different kind of animal compared to a dog it's a good question i think i think that's for brenda right I think yeah of course yeah 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 i think like you say that's a culture thing um if you grow up that way you don't know anything different am yeah. i not right you're absolutely right india india does not it's it's i think it's illegal probably to eat uh cows right so right. you go to a McDonald's, there's no cows on the menu. It's only going to be chicken. Well, if you go and to half India, the population is... They have this dish done with the biryani, and they have lamb biryani, and they have beef biryani because of their cultural differences over there. Okay. So you know, the cow but, is sacred to some people. But in a lot, most of the... No, no, not some. It's most of India does oh. not eat cow. So, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's, blasph it's blasphemy to eat a cow. It's to right. eat beef. So no, McDonald's doesn't have beef. They are so, sacred. That's a so, good point, actually. I oh, haven't yeah. thought about that before. That's a really good okay, point. So it, now, a global brand like McDonald's, they obviously uh, exist in India. So uh, they have uh, locally produced meat. And I wonder what their uh, patties are made out of if it's not beef. No, it's not beef. It's chicken. They only serve chicken. That, if you look, if, yeah. you can go online and look at it. India, you look up Mac, uh, McDonald's India, was it a menu, you're not going to find any beef on it. There what is no I beef was going to mention, though, and I don't know how long it will be before the Golden Arches, as we've been naming them, or uh, other burger joints, uh, start introducing uh, plant-based burgers, because uh, recently, uh, I'd say that over in the last few months, I picked up, uh, you know, one I of think the... Carl's uh, Jr. done it already. Well, I, over there on, in North America uh, continent, yeah, where Brenda is, uh, that's where Carl's Jr. is, right? Was it but, beyond, beyond, wasn't it beyond, beyond Burger? Is it Burger King? Or Burger, or is it, you just beyond. keep me through it there, Jimmy. You're going to have to mute you, I tell you that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, a few months ago, I picked up uh, one of these burgers and I tried it and I was pleasantly shocked. Um, mm -hmm. I'd seen a TV show maybe about 18 months ago. So what would that be from now? So yeah, about about the, the uh, end of 2018, beginning of 2019, where there was some serious uh, research going into finding the best mix when it comes to making something that tastes anything close to a beef burger, just making it from plant-based materials. And uh, the one food stuff that um, really does have the texture and it kind of uh, works out well when it comes to um, that sort of thing is mushroom. And there was one, one well-known uh, celebrity chef over in the UK here. Uh, he, um, he was on this show that I watched and he couldn't believe that he was eating a non-meat product. Well, uh, skip forward to where we are now, uh, almost at the end of 2020, well, I picked up another couple of burgers recently Beyond Burger, and I've got to tell you, as I was eating them, I was there's there's that little charred flavour you get off them from a beef burger, and it's just the edge of the taste as you're chewing it. And I got this from the Beyond Burger, and I had to, I, I, as I say, I said to myself, you know, in future I may try and make a conscious decision to buy these vegan burgers rather than 
meat burgers because I why not? And um, it was pretty awesome. And I recommend you've got to try it. I mean, you can only try it, but but it really is a decent experience. Um, also, yeah. if you're if you have Burger King there in Japan, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all there. KFC, Burger King. Jimmy's, Jimmy's eating. <laughs> um, they have. Oh dear, Jimmy's technology is letting down everyone. Oh, now no. what's happened there, Jimmy? Your microphone has whatever it was. Your birthday moment that you were just uh, <laughs> trying to hide from everyone. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you now has not the connection on your audio, but it's back now. Uh, but you were saying. I was saying that we have we have Burger King, we have Kentucky Fried, we have we don't have Carl's Jr. Um, there's not a, there's only a few Taco Bells in um, Tokyo, not around where here I am here. Okay, well Burger King has something called the Impossible Whopper. Okay, and a, a friend of mine eats that, and I think it's a plant based. It's a plant based Whopper, so it's not beef at all. So wow. let me if check it if they have it. Let me see if they have it. You know. The thing is, like, they're trick. The thing that Martin was talking about, they're trying to get it so close to beef. Right. Um, that's great. But even ten years ago, they had veggie burgers, and I always yeah. thought they were great. I, I thought the veggie burgers were great. They tasted great. They, they weren't. They weren't exactly the beef, brand. but they were great. You mentioned the brand, and the one that just wins hands down at the moment. Uh, not that I've tried many, but when you just talk about a veggie burger, right? There is no comparison to the uh, common veggie burger uh, than when you taste a Beyond Burger, and they're not sponsoring us today, people. Wait right? a second, wait a second. But you're you're yeah. saying a veggie, it's a it's a Beyond Burger, but a Beyond Burger or Beyond Meat or whatever, it's not. It does. It, it's it's was it has a texture of beef, right? You're talking about. I've I've never had it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Actually, when when it's um, you can uh, stay on screen, Martin, when I'm talking. Oh, I can. Oh, I can. I can. I'm not. I'm not doing anything uh, else other than listening when I'm not on screen. I feel producing. like I feel like you're putting me on the spot when you just put me on. You know. Oh, really? Okay. Well, how about that then? Oh my God! I just put myself on. <laughs> you all, right. No, I just, <laughs> I just buttons. Um, hey, you took the opportunity. I, I noticed an empty chair earlier on, Jimmy, but I'll say no more. Uh, so it does help. Um, uh, <laughs> you take it off the screen there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say that bottle's definitely going down quickly at the moment. We need to hang on, can we have a bottle check? Can we just have a check on the bottle, please, Jimmy? Can we see that? It's a it's a beautiful South African right. wine. It's a wow. I think it's a Cabernet Merlot blend. Love it. uh, it's called Balance, and I've never gone wrong with South African wine. And I, and this we, today was we, it was great too. Let's hold it up there, Keith Carey. Let's see the Balance logo again because of course uh, we we see what it is. Of course, yeah. I like elephant. the label a lot. Oh, where yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's an label. elephant. But, but what I notice as well is I don't think it's a coincidence. The shape of the elephant is somewhat heart shaped. I think there's absolutely, yeah, there. most likely, yeah, 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 yeah. And but, they do have a sparkling too, which is great. Uh, the, the thing is, though, I just love the name because because the irony there. We understand obviously it's alcohol balance. You know, have a few of those uh, glasses, and before you know it, you'll have anything but balance when it comes to uh, getting out of your seat chair and going, you know, wherever you're heading towards, even if it is the. Did you bar. say that's a Merlot? Yeah, I think I think it was. Is, is that right, Jimmy? Have we lost your sound again? It's a. I think it's a Cabernet Merlot um, blend. Okay. Yeah. yeah. South African. I recommend any South African wine. I I haven't had a bad South African wine yet. Well, there's one that I have, which isn't like like it's it's a. I I don't know what the what the connoisseurs would class it. What low end wine? Uh, there's something called Jacob's Creek. And it really okay. is it's a very, you know, it's, it's, you know. From where? From where? Grocery stores and supermarkets. And, and, and Jacob's Creek, I think, is an Australian uh, wine. Um, I, I've had plenty. I, I enjoy it. I think, I think when it comes to wine, I'm mainly on the white. And I think I've had plenty of South African as well. But, um, yeah, Jacob's Creek does it for me, for sure. I don't know if anyone else out there is uh, familiar Australia. with that. Australia. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. I think Australian wine is very similar to California. It's not my favorite. I think the soil or the, I, I don't know exactly, you know, I'm not a big wine connoisseur, but I think it might be due to the soil and the climate that's very similar to California wine. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Right. I mean, I, I'm still going to go for the French and the Italian. And sure. for some reason, I like the South African. Well, what goes over there in Ohio? What's uh, what's popular there right now? We're on the subject of this bottle of wine now, Brenda. Um. I drink Merlot mainly. Mm -hmm. I like a red wine. Um, 
Sometimes white's a little too dry for me. Sure. Um, yeah, but there's sweet whites. That's my favorite. What with my oh, sweet? Sweet white's good. Oh, I I've used got to drink a lot of, of sweet wines, like um, hmm. just a, a sweet white wine. But for some reason, I, I've always heard that red is better for your heart. So okay. I've been kind of stuck on that as far as the healthy part of it. Wait a second. You like sweet wines? No. Um, I've no, I do. For more of a dry, dry red wine. Okay, well, if you like sweet, I'm just saying. Well, okay, Martin, then you need to drink. Uh, you need to drink German white wine. German white wine is the sweetest. Yeah, dessert wines though. Now, once I've uh, tasted, port. Uh, port. Oh, oh, port. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, listen, port and sherries. I mean, that's a that's a totally different topic okay. almost. I mean, uh, the best. I mean, I do like a good Harvey's Bristol cream. You can't miss that. It's in the blue. Uh, what well, they call it, Bristol blue bottle. Uh, that's okay. Where they, well, wait, um, say it again. Bristol cream. Let me yeah, Harvey's Crystal Cream, a nice big litre bottle of that will set you back, what, round about to 14 US dollars. Bristol Cream Sherry. Okay, fine. Yeah, really okay, yeah, Brenda, no. um, I'm going to tell you something. Okay, you like, you want, you're drinking red wine. Mm -hmm. You like dry red wine or you just happen to drink dry because red, most red wine is dry? Or what's the, what's the deal? Right. I drink mostly just, um, well, actually what's on sale, but. Um, I like just the red wine. I, I don't. I don't think there's too many really reds that are sweet. Oh, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you. It's a style of wine. Okay. That one of my favorite red wines. It's a sparkling Italian wine. Oh. And it's a style called Lambrusco. Oh, I've had Lambrusco. Okay. Well, Lambrusco is probably my favorite style of wine. Mm -hmm. It's uh red. It's it. It's not exactly the so sweet. But it's a little bit of a sparkle in it, so it's like sparkling oh. wine. So it's a little bit bubble. So Very popular and you, can, you, you can get it white, you can get white rosé or red, and I prefer the red myself. So let me just clarify. When, when, when I say that Lambrusco is is popular here, I don't mean personally with myself. I mean in general here in the UK. It's but uh, mostly it's rosé. People are, uh, really rose rosé is the most popular, but red. You can get red Lambrusco. It's from a certain, I think it's from a certain part of Italy, mm -hmm. a certain style of, of uh, wine. And you can get them from 6% to about 12% with a regular wine. You can get a low percentage of alcohol one too. And I love Lambrusco. And I, I don't know if you can order alcohol online or like on Amazon in America, but in Japan you can order online. So I usually order stuff I think online. you can. I've never, I don't think I've ordered alcohol online, but I think you can. Oh, you can. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can over there uh, across the pond. I like the good States. Bailey's too. Yeah. Bailey's? Okay, so you so you do like uh, Swedish sweet, not Swedish, okay, Swedish. Swedish. Not Swedish, well, but if you're Swedish. Talking Swedish. Uh, then I, my mind straight away uh, skips when talking alcohol to their um, uh, their wonderful bottled Copperberg or Recordling, oh, yeah. which are the ciders. And uh, that, that, that is my thing, cider. Yeah, definitely. So, I, you know, you know, okay, not cider, but something that I really love from England. And, uh, it, and I cannot get it in Japan. Newcastle. Newcastle brown ale. I cannot get Newcastle brown ale. Yeah, what yeah. the hell? Well, it's, everyone drinks it before it has a chance to exit the country. I guess that's what it is over here. You know? No, I could get it in America. So, like, like my right. two favorite, my two favorite beers are like Grolsch and uh, Newcastle. So, is that a darker beer? It's a sweet beer. I think it is a bit darker though. Isn't it, it, it's, it's, it's very dark. It's very dark. It's brown. It's brown. But you know, your image of uh, like a dark beer, it's not your image of a dark beer. If you've never had it. When you're thinking dark beer, no, it's not like that. It's completely okay. different. It's it's not a, it's not like a like it's almost like a, you know Guinness is like a black color beer. This is like a brown, sugary, honey kind of flavored beer. Ooh, that sounds good. It's very good. People... Newcastle, 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 Newcastle. Well, whether they're watching live or on the replay, it'd be interesting to know and um, people for, to leave comments about what their favorite beers are and uh, alcohol, wine, and. For that matter, uh, yeah. Because well, I'll, I'll drink it. Tell so me what it is, and I'll drink it. Well, you know, uh, you know, was it Martin's suggestion of Bell's whiskey was a bad choice for me, Scotch. Even though I do like Scotch, this was a bad choice. Oh, thank you, Martin. 
<laughs> oh, for, no problem, Jimmy. If you remember, though, just for clarification, yeah, I'll stick to the, the royal remember, salute. I recommended you taste it because I didn't like it. I've been recommended plenty uh, drink bells, try bells, but I, I did and I didn't like it. But the amount of people that do like it, I'm thinking, well, it must be me, you know. I mean, no, 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 you know, no, 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 here, here, here. yeah, what, what you got there? Here's two that I recommend over bells, yeah. Black but my red. favorite is Ballantine's uh, 17. So that one I'm not familiar with. Is that I'm little familiar. bar there beside you, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> he has. I think he has. What, what, you what, what are you pulling out there now, Jimmy? Oh, my goodness. Okay, Napoleon. Uh, this is a Napoleon. Was right. it uh, Cognac? I got the limited, the, the, you know, the special edition Napoleon yeah. Cognac here. I like that bottle, the square. Yeah, of course. It's I, I got everything was in Napoleon. How about this? I got a Napoleon cork here, too. Huh? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we saw oh, that a few yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you do like your Napoleon stuff, don't you? I like, I like bourbon, too. And, <laughs> you know, it's very interesting that Jim Beam is quite an affordable, uh, was it a uh, bourbon? And I'm very surprised at how good it is. I've only started drinking it like in the past year or two, and uh, I highly recommend it. But my favorite bourbon would be Harper's, uh, IW Harper 12. Well, you heard it here first, everyone. Once again, Jimmy did say at the beginning of the broadcast, he is accepting donations. Was that right? Something along those lines. My liquor collection, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should have given people the URL to your uh, Amazon wish list, or is that what they have these days, isn't it? You know, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. Goodness me. Uh, okay, it's Harvey's Solera Sherry, the Bristol Cream. Is Bristol, that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what does it cost? What's, what's the cost there? As I said, it's a. Pro, uh, it's going to be something like 14 US dollars. Uh, oh, my God. God, yeah, it's, about, it's, 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 clo it's, it's close to, was it? It's about 20 bucks, over 20 bucks here. I gotta write that uh, down. I actually, I, I didn't see it much when I was over. Uh, in well, I'm, I'm talking about Japan. I'm talking about Japan here. Yeah, I understand. But I, when, I, when I was traveling over there, I, I, in, in uh, particularly, I was in Los Angeles, uh, New York. You, you don't just see it on, on the shelves in general. However, I did find a bar, uh, one of my favorite bars there, um, in California, called um, almost forget the name now, Jones Bar. You probably remember that one, Jimmy. Uh, Jones Bar, remember that? Was it Santa Monica Boulevard? You yeah, I do. That? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great little place there. And, I'm more uh, of a rainbow bar and grill kind of guy. I love that place as well. I hope they're doing good. Unfortunately, um, they have new owners now because uh, yeah, you're right. One of, one of the original owners, Mario. Uh, Mario's gone. Yeah. yeah, and of course, we remember what we said. Uh, I. I for the first time I was in that bar, the Rainbow Bar and Grill on Sunset Boulevard, um, I, while I was there, you know, when I was, wasn't the first time, but it was one of the first times, uh, is when I met up with the, the uh, one and only uh, man himself who's no longer with us, Motorhead. Oh, Lenny. Well, Lenny was always there. Your mic's gone again there, Jimmy, so I'll let you sort that out Sorry. while I, yeah. No, it, it, no, 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 Lenny was oh, always there. Right. You've got your mic on your head there. I got you, yeah. Uh, Jimmy, and, what are you and, doing for your birthday? Oh, that's a good question there, Jimmy. Um, yeah, what, what are you doing for your birthday? But what I just wanted to say about the, birth, the, the Bristol cream thing, well, um, the other place I noticed it was available was when I was in Chicago, all right, uh, more recently. Uh, I say more recently, the last visit, which frightening was, uh, what is it now, two years ago? <gasps> Pretty much. But, yeah, Chicago, uh, it's in Oscar Jewel store, I seem to recall. There's one there called that and uh, a couple of others. So, yeah, they have a nice selection there. So next time I'm over there, I know where to be going for my uh, tipple on the uh, sherry level. So, yeah, what are you doing for your birthday, Brenda, wanted to know. Is that right, Brenda, yeah? Yep. What are you doing, Jimmy? What are you doing for your birthday? I am. No, your mic's gone again, Jimmy, on your head. That's it. I got a, I got a date with my girlfriend. Um, uh, we're going I love the way you said that. It sounded like you were uh, – the emphasis there, it was kind of ambiguous. Almost one could have <laughs> could be forgiven for, for thinking it was you just emphasizing today you have a, uh, you have a, a date with your girlfriend. Well, not yours. Boom, boom. There you go. So that's the you – know, just, just, just clarify. Yeah. Today you have a date with your girlfriend. Well, I have you a date with my girlfriend. I have, I have the date. The voice is a little different and – Never mind. I have, date, my, I have a date with my girlfriend every week. There you or every, go. Every, every day, actually. Every, but um, Every time you think about it. We're going to a very special Italian uh, restaurant. It's this uh, Japanese guy um, who went to Napoli and won a few mm -hmm. awards in pizza making. Yeah. And we're going to his restaurant on uh -huh. a date. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. Right. Yeah. 
And then I got what happens after that? I got a watch for my uh, a gift. That, that's nice. That's uh, wonderful. I like that. That that's that's nice. It's a Actually, off. Brenda, hold on a second. Where's Brenda gone? Because yeah, if you hold that watch up there, keep that watch held up there, Jimmy, in the middle. Yeah, and look, look at that. It matches the. I just, I just saw the vibrant blue that she has on her top there, along with that watch. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a look together. You see the two together. A nice Seiko. A nice that's Seiko watch. That's beautiful. Was yeah. Yeah, that was a gift. Nice. Yes. Okay. So, are, you, are you often late, Jimmy? I got it. I got it today, so I have to. I have to. Was it take a? F I, my wrist isn't so big. I got to take a notch out. But uh, yeah. Well, can we just clarify that's a notch out your wrist? Notch oh. out of the band. <laughs> yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Do you know the time just flies on these things, Jimmy? On these broadcasts on show. And you know that I am. Ne yeah. I mean, I, I'm. I'm. I'm cool. I can go uh -huh. all night. Yeah, know, Martin, I, wants, no, no, Martin wants to cut short, but I'm like, like I'm, I'm hi, trying Claire. to like you know. I, I, I knew you were going to say that. Kind of hi, why I didn't, yeah, there you go. Goodness me. Uh, Corona Bud Light Jaeger. Oh. Uh, Jaeger. Jaeger. Corona Bud Light, that's water. Forget that stuff. Jaeger. I, I'm not sure Claire's going to uh, continue to agree with you, Jimmy. I wonder if she... she don't real beer. That, real beer. It's like, you know, the Budweiser's, the Coronas. This is all just water. Heineken's. They're not real beer. You gotta get to you gotta get to like the Grolsch level to get real beer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Listen, Newcastle uh, is a great uh, ale. Newcastle, if you you know, Brenda, I'm sure you can get Newcastle. If you find Newcastle, you need to try Newcastle. I will. I'm gonna head right out today and see if I can find it. You do that. And report back to us next next week. Brenda uh, next next week's gonna be a little earlier, the show. Is it? Yeah, is because it, I have to I, I, morning. <laughs> well, well, it, it, well, this is an advanced warning because it has to be an hour earlier because we what? have to start I mean, because I have the next day I have like a a grueling teaching schedule. I'm teaching like nine or ten hours. I have to travel by bullet train to another prefecture to another city, and I'm teaching English. And right. then it, it's an all day an all day thing, so I can't stay up late that day. Well, well, I, I will remember that for next week that we are going to be here at a slightly different time, everyone. It's got to be early. And um, listen, we're going to say goodbye to Brenda. Brenda, thanks for joining us there in uh, Ohio, United States of Thank America. You. Hi, guys. Yeah, Thank enjoy you, the rest of your, um, well, uh, it's almost the end of the morning there, uh, getting on for afternoon. But yeah, yep. yeah the Cheers. temperature is rising there as it hits midday, more so than it is here raining. It's thanks my a lot, personal Brenda. day off. See day off. Later. Enjoy the rest of your day off work. Yeah. Yes, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. You too. Yes. And have a great Thank birthday. You. Thank you very much. Bye. It was nice meeting you finally. You too, finally. There you go. Yeah. After all the comments over all the weeks. Thanks, Brenda. That Thank was you. Brenda. Oh, look, she kicked herself out of the broadcast. Saved me a job. Excellent. Thank you very much. If you want to join us like Brenda uh, was there and Elliot earlier on, then it's uh, shinecast.live forward slash join any regular web browser, Chrome, Firefox, Edge. <laughs> yeah, we don't like that one, Microsoft. And Safari. I think your best bet, though, is Chrome. Um, so what, what was that? So you're not into it? Well, you know, I get, I get bombarded by Edge, and, like, they tricked me into downloading it, like, so yeah. many times. I've I've eliminated it, and then I get tricked into it. I'm like, why is this here? And it's like they've mm -hmm. tricked me into downloading it so many times. Right, Jimmy. Um, I've started using Windows again for the first time about 24 hours ago. Um, I've had very limited... Really wait, wait, limited wait, wait, wait. Windows meaning what? Windows not, meaning not the what? Operating system. A, a PC, a IBM computer rather what than Apple. Usually, what do you usually? Oh, Apple, I don't. Yeah. I don't like yeah. Apple. Yeah, no, no, I know you don't, but I, I have to say, I mean, Windows, it, it's not too, it's like anything. One, you know, if, you, if you're driving a car and then you get a new car that's slightly different, it takes you a few days to get used to the new car, depending on how regularly you're going to be using it. And then you use your new car for a few days, weeks, months, years. And then if you want to revert to the old car, the one that you've had, had for a long time, the first one, it will still take you time to get used to that if you haven't been using it on sure. and off. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, you know, for a period. That's what's happened with me and Windows, anyway. Um, but I, I, I really needed to get back into using Windows computers. For one, even with if I'm with friends and people, and they often have a techie problem, it's nice to help out. And uh, often I can't these days because most people um, 
you know, they have a Windows yeah, machine. Yeah, look it up on Google or YouTube. It'll, it'll tell you everything. Do that as well, and but it's still I, nice. I, I, I've, I've, I've had many a situation where I had to repair people's Apple's computers mm -hmm. because I'm sorry to say, I mean, you know Windows, so that's okay. But most people who are exclusive Windows, uh, was it Apple? Most Apple people are exclusive Apple, usually have no idea what a computer is. Compared to Windows, I mean, it's the landscape is changing. Definitely the landscape is changing. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm talking about 10, 15, 20 years ago where it was clearly a big difference where you have access to everything with a, a – was it a, a regular computer? And mm -hmm. – well, not Microsoft, Windows computer. But generally, you could build your own computer while Apple people were just stuck in a little tiny world. So I, I, think that's I, I totally agree with that. The Apple, you know, it was it was like because it's the simplicity. You click this and it does this. It, it, it does what it says when you you know if you need to click something or do click something, and and you can't kind of explore. It's like having a car where the um, the, the bonnet, the front of the car, which is yeah. the, uh, the hood. The hood. The hood yeah. in England. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, over here it's the bonnet, and the trunk is the boot over here. We call it the boot, and it's the trunk in uh, most other places that speak English because they use the American ski English. Um, but yeah, um, see, most cars you can look under and see what's going on with the, all those little parts, right? And you can learn and see how it's all interconnected. Exactly. And if you want to learn, you can. That's what you can do with Windows. You can't do that with Apple Mac so easily. And, and I don't like that. It's like an elitist thing. I don't like it. No, no, that's the, I didn't like it when I first got onto Mac, but then I very quickly realized you didn't necessarily need, need, need all those extra. You, you know, the worst thing with Windows. The it's, worst not, thing. It's, it's, it's not about needing. It's about just knowing what you're using. But the worst thing, I agree, but, but the worst thing about it is that you are given an easy access to the system files. And you literally just need one of those moved, deleted, and then you're like, what have I done? You, you know, and some people, it was easy to That's delete your free a file. Choice. It's your free choice. Well, yeah, it gives uh, people like, um, well, you know, as I say, the repair stores, uh, uh, something to uh, work yeah, just, on. Just do a system restore and you're back to normal. And you, I don't know if you can even do that in Apple, but you know, okay, you know, I'm sure I could, if you give me the Apple computer, I could access the files. I can get into the system. I'm sure there's a way I can get in there. Well, the one thing that Apple computers are known for is uh, the security and they're not easy to, well, the, you, you can't just go onto a, a website. See, these days you can go onto a website on a Windows computer and within seconds have a virus downloaded onto your computer. Uh, in the old days, you had to do what you call execute it. So the file would download and then you'd have to actually click on it, you know, where it says open this document. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually something else. It's a virus and that sort of thing. Malware. Well, if a virus is, a, you know, sometimes there's a very, like, very bad virus. But uh, usually, yeah, we know you there's just, one of those at the moment, not even on computers. Well, yeah, that one, yeah, that one. But usually, you could just sidestep the virus. It's just no big. You just you just close it out. You go into the system and get rid of it. No, but you think about it. Once it's there, it's there because because if it infects the files, that actually keep the computer running. Okay, you okay, know, fine. Guess what? Like, Guess what? Yeah. Don't keep your personal files on the same hard drive that you have you the just system again you beat me to that one in as much as i was going to say the technology is so cheap these days i mean cheap not just affordable you, there are go on to any um you know used website yes okay uh, you know an auction website or um you know go to one of these stores that sells uh, secondhand used equipment buy yourself a cheap computer and that one is the one that you can use on the internet you know, not even care about, and all your important stuff keep on a separate computer. And yeah, even just, just, you know, get, 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 get an external hard drive. Get an external hard yeah, drive. Oh, you always, always have, and always, always back up stuff. But you see, the trouble is as well if you have two computers and one's online and one's not, or one's used like you don't. Just, you need to do that. You just separate the files. Operations on C, the other ones on. Or D E F. It, it, yeah, but the, but when people start copying files from one thing to the other, again, it, it, you've just got to be sensible and careful at the end of the day. One thing I didn't, I, sh I stopped short of saying is that a lot of people that have Apple Mac computers don't have antivirus software because they don't need it. That's how good the Apple system is at keeping. Wait a second. Uh, I have a Windows. Out. I have a Windows computer. I don't have antivirus software. That's a bigger. That's a big bigger risk. 
than if you have a... Uh, you know, the antivirus software always keeps me away from the sites that I want to watch. Look at. Well, there you go. I bet your girlfriend keeps you away from those as well, right, Jimmy? It, 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 hey, I... They always tell me it's dangerous. And I'm yeah. like, well, that's what I want to look at. I want to see the dangerous stuff. Mm. Listen, mister, I think that time is uh, sort of hitting now. It's tomorrow for you. It's still yesterday for me. It is Friday the 9th of October 2020 where I am. But for you, it's Saturday. It's the 10th. It's a huge happy birthday wish from me and Thank from everyone else. Much. And, uh, hey, you, you, you're somehow there getting younger, Jimmy, it looks like. I don't know how. Um, Must be the lighting. Possibly, possibly. Yeah, maybe the um, wine. Or, or the chroma key has something additional these it's days as well. To... Axi antioxidants. Wow. Antioxidants are helping out here. <laughs> Stay safe, of course. That should go without saying there. Uh, with all the craziness that's going on in our world um, at this uh, latter part of 2020 with the coronavirus pandemic, uh, we've got some. Difficult times ahead, I think, in uh, England and the rest of the UK. Uh, it, we are heading fast. If not for a total second lockdown, then something very close to it. Pubs, bars, restaurants are having a huge uh, problem at the moment at surviving um, because uh, the people there in power um, who are clearly displaying that they really are just um, sort of playing this as it goes along. They're not even doing a good job at that, you know, from day to day. Um, they seem to be a bit out of touch. And, uh, well, there's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, this is something so new to mankind, certainly to our generations, that uh, we don't quite know the answer. There is no specific answer. There are a number of options we can try, and we've tried them, and we might not have picked the first one to start with, just need to have your hands up there and no one's going to think the worse of you you know as a prime minister as a president that sort of thing as a leader so um yeah i just um hope i really hope that the decisions that are made over the next few days if not hours um do take into consideration the the serious impact this is having on individuals those that were furloughed that no longer have work uh, mentally this is taking a toll on everyone even people like myself who as i sit here now you know, Jimmy, I'm thinking, you know, I'm not too affected, but actually I am because, you know, it's a bit like that. Again, use it often uh, in life. I do it and in conversations, the hair, the haircut analogy, you know, it changes gradually daily. Your hair just gets a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And you never quite remember after two months just how your hair was two months prior. And uh, and it's only when you have a haircut, you realize, wow. It's so different because up until that point, your hair was just changing slightly day by day. So, yeah. How about anyway, a shave? Yeah, yeah. Well, as I say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? My birthday is soon, Jimmy, and at some point this is going to start falling out. So I'm kind of thinking, you know what? If anything, I can turn the camera upside down and people won't notice, right? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, maybe that's what I'm, I'm, I'm playing at subconsciously. But, yeah, I de definitely, and you would not believe it, um, if I told you uh, that among my notes, there is a note that says, prepare for Shinecast and other live streams, et cetera, et cetera. And that gets shifted a day or two ahead when I haven't had time. Listen, I, I, I haven't even had time to mention. So very briefly, I will say it has been a very busy week and um, it's been very productive. There's a new project underway, a community project. It's going to be um, very popular with the locals and I'm trying to get it launched before the end of the year because I know how beneficial it will be beneficial it will be for them and they will definitely well it can't be a bad thing but I know that once we get it off the ground it's a, it's a video portal for a town and uh, businesses right now need to get their message out there more than ever to show how great they are we're going to have artists featuring on there um, there's a couple of stores that sell previously enjoyed uh, items i.e secondhand goods vintage goods that sort of thing and um yeah we're going to be um innovative inventive and uh, also um we're going to just um be um thinking out the box and connecting that community with the rest of their local uh, things that are going on businesses organizations events and at the same time it's a slice of england to the rest of the world as you'll uh, uh, no doubt hear me say plenty in the future if you haven't already done so. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting stuff. We'll, we'll feature something, I'm sure, here before much longer.
Uh, listen, Jimmy, happy yeah. birthday to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And um, I noticed we, we, there was no cake today. Uh, metaphorically, there is. But otherwise, we didn't have a large enough fire extinguisher to hand uh, for safety precautions. <laughs> Heaven knows what we can do on my birthday. But anyhow, I'm you've, got, my wine. you've got your balance. Stay safe. Thanks very much indeed, Jimmy Heaven. Thank you. Thanks See you next much. week you, you at an earlier you, time. You absolutely will. Slightly earlier here on Shinecast. And uh, we'll be catching up with uh, Jimmy yeah, in seven days from now. And hopefully yourself as well. Share, like, and follow, please do, uh, here uh, either on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, Periscope, or wherever you happen to be seeing this. Let people know what's going on because uh, I tell you, I tell you, it's all going to be... Um, well, if you, it's just going to get better and better, basically. Brenda says, um, have a terrific weekend, guys. And uh, we will. Thank you uh, to uh, She. Thank you to, who was earlier on there? There was Claire. There was Elliot. There was Matthew. Of course, it was Jimmy. And uh, who else have I forgotten? Who else did I forget? Um, well, I'm forgetting you. That's you watching the replay who isn't here, as I say, you. But by the time you arrive, um, you'll be uh, hearing this and yes, all good stuff. Thank you everyone. Until next time, uh, it's another one done and dusted. This has been Martin Shine with Jimmy Heaven, um, who's enjoying his birthday. I uh, know. And uh, join us next time here on Shinecast. <laughs>